Hello everyone, today is July 20th, 2017. This article from UPI. Visa offers 500000 for eateries to stop accepting cash. And this article was dated July 15th, 2017. Visa is challenging small restaurants, cafes, and food trucks to stop accepting cash. The credit card company announced in a news release this week it is offering $500,000 to 50 eligible U.S.-based eateries to go 100% cashless. Restaurants signing up can get a $10,000 gift from Visa to help pay for technology upgrades, the San Francisco-based company said. The businesses are asked to describe what cashless means for them their employees and customers. Quote, at Visa, we believe you can be everywhere you want to be and that it should be easy to pay and be paid in more ways than ever, whether it's a phone, card, wearable, or other device. Jack Forrestell, Visa's head of global management, I'm sorry, global merchant solutions said in a statement, we have an incredible opportunity to educate merchants and consumers alike on the effectiveness of going effectiveness of going cashless. Credit card companies charge processing fees to businesses for the plastic charges. Quote, the important thing to realize is that going with a fast and easy is not always the best and most cost effective. Marco Carabjo, a credit expert, wrote in 2013 US Small Business Administration blog post. Typical merchant account companies can charge up to 5% of everything a company earns with prices consisting of merchant processing costs, gateway fees, interchange costs, Visa, MasterCard, American Express charges, statement fees, and so on. But Visa said it recently conducted a study it said showed that if businesses in 100 cities transitioned from cash to digital, their cities could see net annual benefits of $312 billion. In New York City alone, businesses could generate an additional $6.8 billion in revenue and save more than 186 million hours in labor by making greater use of digital payments. Visa said in a release, this amounts to more than $5 billion annual cost savings for businesses in New York. As of December 31st, there were 3.1 billion Visa credit cards and 141 billion total transactions, the company reported on its website. The Financial Times reported last year China's state-run union pay has surpassed Visa as the world's largest card processor in terms of the value of the transactions. Union pay had 37% share of the 21.6 trillion charges in 2015 compared with 32% for Visa and 20% for MasterCard, according to a study from the British consult RBR. That's the end of the article. And then there are some related articles here, related UPI stories. One, Wells Fargo to pay $142 million in class action settlement of fake accounts. Two, Chipotle says hackers stole customer credit card information. Three, Target will pay $18.5 million in settlement over 2013 data breach. Four, lawsuit Apple Pay infringes on patent. Well, I think this is just another example of the control that they want to have over your money. Also, small businesses, for example, like little farmers markets on the side of the road, where they accept cash, that's the perfect transaction for those types of sales. Farmers getting paid right then and there, not having to go through Visa and get a fee charge for selling a watermelon. Um, in this article it talked about the company saving, saving labor costs. Well that means that jobs are lost. So another way of them just controlling every single thing that you do. Your money, who can buy and sell, cuts out the middleman, cuts out the little guy farmer, cuts out the little person selling, you know, crafts, arts and crafts to get cash. 
I think that's very dangerous. And Visa is quite the monopoly, second to this Chinese company. So do what you can. Use cash wherever you can. I don't have a Visa card, so I try not to contribute to them. I do have a MasterCard that I only use in case of emergency, but still, um, I really shouldn't use that at all. And plus, they make all this money on these fees. 5%? Geez, that's a lot of money over thousands of dollars. They're getting rich. So just one other small way we can fight this uh, beast system that we're in. Resist it and use cash as much as you can. Have a great day, everyone.